Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, good evening. A uh, good day. Doc Chris here, Discovery MD. Thank you guys for watching the videos, the vlogs with regards to the mga previous topics ko about mycoplasma, HIV, and ngayon may dilagdag ako ngayon, di ba? Uh, standard drink. May isa akong topic na gusto ko din dagdagan. Kasi it really needs uh, more information, dissemination. Okay. Sige. Talk. I'm talking about the videos about, syempre, the, the human immunodeficiency virus. And what's the status of the Philippines, no? So this is an article published at the MDPI. This is a publicly available article by Mr. Louis Gangkwanko and Patrick Eustachio. Okay. Their tropical med infectious disease article. So it's a study on AIDS, especially in Hawaii. No. So the article states here that it's specifically focused on the Philippines. No. Nag start sa dito sa Philippines mismo yung focus ng journal and studies nito. So sabi dito in the past the Philippines had gained notoriety as the country with the fastest growing HIV epidemic in the Western Pacific region. Sadly that is true. No, while the overall trend of HIV incidence and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome related deaths are declining globally, an increased new cases was reported to the HIV AIDS and ART registry of the Philippines from 2012 to 2023. There was a 411 percent increase, daily increase, 411 percent. It's not just 100 guys that's that's more than 100 percent see so it is often attributed sabi nga nila dito male having sex with male or men are disproportionately affected various steps has been addressed in the hiv epidemic in the country and there is been increasing alarm with regards to minors no Kasi screening is also included for minors without parental consult. So, it, impo it, it must no, ko, encompass a lot of issues. Kasi, yun nga, issues of consent and key issues of, key issues of um, testing. Pero, by guidelines, if you have a high risk behavior, you should get tested. No? Ano ba ang pinuvide nilang recommendation dito? The high burden, ano ba dito? The number of hubs, ito pala. The number of hubs, the number of treatment hubs and primary HIV care facilities continue to increase despite these efforts. Barrier to end, ending the HIV epidemic remains, including continuous stigma. Stigma. Ano ba yung stigma na yan? Well, it's the fear the fear of having this infection and let's say for example you have the high risk behavior and you don't want anyone to know and often it bothers you at saka once you get the symptoms saka ka lang nababahala and when the time comes na nakaroon ka ng symptoms it ends up being the the later, later stage of your illness. So, pwede mas malala. No? So, limited harm reduction services for people who inject drugs, social cultural factors, political deterrence. So, it includes also political will. I think this is due to, yes, syempre, supplies and the availability of the hubs and then the availability of the medication. HIV RDA quantification and drug resistance testing are not routinely performed due to the associated cost. Mahal ang testing for HIV. And that is why 
uh, it's important to maximize yung resources. Kung meron mga mga patients na high risk, dapat they should get tested. They should be the first to get tested. No? And then, yun, for the medication, they should be triaged kung sino yung mas kailangan muna ng gamot. Kasi kulang pa rin naman tayo ng supplies. Okay, the HIV pandemic in the Philippines require a multi-sectorial approach. Kung multi-sectorial approach siya to, it, not, it will not only include us healthcare workers. It will include the government. The government being the one responsible of building the infrastructures, the facilities for the treatment hub. The government building up the health information system that will store confidential data among patients with HIV. The government will also provide the funds for all who are uh, eligible for the uh, national health insurance like your PhilHealth. It should be shouldered doon sa funding na yun. Kasi it's a, goal, it's a nationwide concern. So, dapat kasama sila doon. Now, it's not just us doctors, the government. It should also involve the family. Kasi yung family, they are the ones talking directly to the patient. Ang pinakamahirap dyan kung yung patient ay mag-isa. Wala na siyang ibang kasama, katuwang sa buhay. That's when the time of we have to consider other close relatives or even uh, allow the person or the individual be adopted by a community that could help people foster okay, a pseudo or even a cooperative family or community for themselves that will help them sa sakit nila kasi mahirap yung mag-isa lang na nagagamot nito okay? so the call for sustained political commitment community involvement and continued collaboration Okay, among various stakeholders is a must. Yeah, sabi ko, kami, we are here to help assess the, doc, the patients with our help on the line as well and also with uh, providing quality care for our patients. Yun ang ibinibigay namin. And providing the right amount of advice. Okay, hindi lahat Basta basta sila sabing, oh ma'am, may HIV ka. That's not the right thing to say. You should always, you should empathize. You should know how to ra- to properly say things. Okay, as a doctor. Kasi, uh, learn to understand the feelings of the patient. Yun yung kailangan natin din ma- ma-build as primary care providers. Kasi, hindi lang basta-basta yung nagbibigay ng diagnosis, nagkareseta at pinapa That is also our responsibility. Kasi we will be the uh, second uh, mediator. Kasi the first mediator will be the family towards the treatment plans and the goals for this case. Siyempre, since nadaanan ko na yung family, the family, ano mo mahalaga sa pamilya? The family will increase morale if the family will be there to assist in decision making and the family will be there to be comfort provide comfort in time of need hindi lang basta basta yung role ng isang mother father sa isang patang pasyente na nagkaroon ng sakit they also are the ones who would give the final decision since under under age si patient so you should always include them in the plans lalo na kung pediatrics now for the government sabi ko nga the infrastructure it's hard to think that there are some hospitals still that would uh, still mix immunocompromised patients from regular patients knowing that it, they might contract infections from the neighboring beds in the general ward, diba? It's important for us to, inc- uh, to uh, consider the 
immunocompromised state of patients like this. Kung pwede naman, kung di maiwasan, they, uh, what I see is they usually put the patient on the near, the far, farest, farthest corner ng ward so that it minimizes the exposure to other illnesses. Take note na kapag immunodeficiency virus na babaan ng resistensya, pwede makakapitan siya ng pneumonia from a staphylococcal, uh, staphylococcal or streptococcal infection sa katabi niya. Okay? And kapag may pneumonia kasi ang patient na may ganitong karamdaman, minsan mas malala. Nagpo-form siya na ng pleural effusion, tamponad, ganun, difficulty of breathing. Kaya mainam tayo na iwasan silang magkaroon ng sakit. No? So, this is a wake-up call. Kasi ito ay published lang this year. And this was published. Okay. So, Love Yourself Inc. I think there is also a sponsorship here in Metro Manila. Ayan. This is uh, Sir Patrick Eustachio. I think uh, this is important. This is one article that is significant lalo na sa Philippines no now going back sa Philippines kasi paano ba tayo nagsimula on uh, identifying HIV actually it's best that we uh, understand who was the first to publicly present the per, uh, themselves as having HIV or AIDS so Let's go back. Balik tingnan natin kung ano ba sa history. Ano, sino ba? Well, according to the history, yeah, tignan lang natin siguro sa Wikipedia, pinakasimple lang. We rely on the available data dito. Pero, ang sabi naman, as claimed by uh, Google, it's not, it's not bad to do Google. Yun yung pinaka-available eh. Uh, it's... Uh, the name of the person of the Filipino is Maria Ma Dol Dolzura Cortez. She was the first to publicly discuss her experience as living with HIV. So actually, minanap ko din yung movie with regards to Pamdali Cortez. Because uh, Dolzura or Dali, uh, Dali's life was enacted in a movie. And surprisingly, it's free. Pwede siyang panoorin sa YouTube. Diba? Okay. The title is Dahil Mahal Kita. Or in English, Because I Love You. Okay. This is the plot. Makikita nyo na. Nababasa nyo naman. Pwede nyo i-browse to sa, sa Wikipedia if you want. But, nonetheless, the, tip, the story all runs to uh, commercial sex work. No? Kasi that was the work of Dali okay from uh, multiple partners actually nagkaroon din siya ng uh, agency with regards to owning a bar and then later uh, became the uh, commercial sex worker as well that uh, later on was depicted no so the movie is uh, played by uh, Dali was played by well syempre sikat eh uh, yan, Vilma Santos Recto who is uh, also a politician of Patangas she is the representative current, I think currently or tap last year retired uh, and as well as Christopher De Leon and Charito Solis kung gusto nyo tignan ito yung item ito yung article or ito yung movie dinaanan ko na to pero syempre hindi ko to ipiplay baka makapirate ako kawawa naman ako no? so it's been there makikita nyo kung yan this one is I think this is the depiction of Dali arguing with his foreign uh, husband so, marami siyang nagkaroon, marami siyang relationship in the life, the span. And then, in the end, she contracted uh, AIDS, which later was uh, 
identified during the time na na ano to? Ang sabi is, ayun siya nakita eh. Na uh, na faint siya. Na wala na malay sa bar. And she wa- got tested from uh, a local hospital. The blood test was sent to Manila to identify that Dali had uh, HIV or stage 3 AIDS already. Hindi na nabanggit kung anong, paano na nalaman na AIDS. Pero, um, dun sa dialogue with the doctor, hindi ko saan ba? Saan na yun? Yung nagwawala siya eh. Anyway, baka, ito. Yung nagwawala siya. So, dito, medyo, uh, hindi ko rin gusto yung paano niya sinabi. Kasi, tiradiretso si Doc nagsabi nung karamdaman. Which is entirely hindi dapat. You should sit down and you should call a person to be with the patient para the other person would be the one to pacify and let the patient understand first. You have to set the environment para maiwasan natin yung nagwawalang pasyente. Okay? At mahirap dyan, nakaswero siya. Baka mamaya, lumipad yung karayom matusok pa siya. E di problema pa yon Incident report. ba So, yun. Itong sitwasyon na to, it became hostile nung sinabi na ni Doc. E clearly, yun nga. Yun lang naman yung perspective na nakita ko na ni bakit naman kasi sinabi niya ganun directly. Pero, this is just the movie and I think, baka sa real life, hindi naman ganun yung nangyari. I don't know. Because, siyempre, this is this is just a depiction. But, uh, well, I'm, I would understand kasi this is just a depiction at saka, hindi mo siguro matatanong yan sa production crew or sa biography of uh, the Dali kung paano ba yung nangyari. If, siyempre, you would get shocked kung ay, yun talaga yung diagnosis. Sino naman ang hindi mo siya di ba? So, if you want to watch it, it's 1 hour and 50 minutes. It is in Okta Arts Film, so <laughs> nag-plug. Um, it's free. Hindi naman na naka-block in is a subscriber mode, so pwede nyo siyang panoorin. And it's a classic movie. Something that I learned from my grandfather, kung mahilig kayo sa classic movies, though they are old, they have quality storytelling and <laughs> kudos kung may mga ganong movies because sometimes the movies like right now are linear predictable too predictable okay so yan yung dahil mahal kita okay so hanggang dun lang naman um, the epidemic HIV p- epidemic is longer than your COVID pandemic and it's been there. Nakatap, patapos na yung COVID, nandiyan pa ang HIV. So, we have to be alert as well. Iwasan natin yung uh, having high-risk behaviors. Kasi, the more you do things high-risk, the more the chances of, well, hindi ko sabihing winning, pero the more the chances that you would contract conditions that you don't want to have in the future. Okay? So, ang gandun lang, ang gandun lang ang hawakan yung mic kapag ganito, no? This has been Doc Chris. And it's almost, oh, it's 12 o'clock. It's a recording, ha? I don't know kung anong oras to ma-fulfill, pero see you around. And thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe. And thank you. And good, good day. Sana yung outro ko. Bye-bye.